Hey guys, this is Catherine Donovan, and I'm gonna continue more with this fairy tale rooster teeth kind of thing that people were talking about in the chat of the video of Michael Jones as Sting and Garrett Storms as Rogue. So, um, alright. Now, I'm gonna make things a lot interesting. Um, you know Achievement Hunter, right? Well, um, I decided I wanted to create some sort of trophy-like object for a fowl chopper to look for. Because what they're looking for is, is this thing that I like to call, um, Triumph chaser and that is inspired from achievement hunter um the only reason why foul chopper is looking for it is because whoever gets to there has to um has to like go on this long journey and fight a lot of enemies and whoever fights it all the most they had to get to that trophy, and that trophy is kind of like trying to test out and see who fought the hardest. I'm thinking I don't want it to be like winner-loser thing, but um, I just want to know like who had the most of it, like who has the brave heart, who suffers more yeah, it's like, like only one person, but also like the others in Foul Chopper, they, um, they get like the Triumph Chaser pieces too. Because like, it doesn't matter like who wins or who loses, who had the most of this, who had less, what matters is that they are hunters and chasers and dreamers of triumph and yeah so that's the whole meaning behind it i know it's really heartwarming it's so sweet oh yeah um i have where did i ah oh, here it is i have like amazing kind of sort of thing for Foul Chopper and I finally got the names down right here oh man excuse me <clears throat> okay the names for Foul Chopper is the first one would be Reuben Cubbings Juniper Darwin, Marcus Knut, and Sony Leto. Yeah, I know. And remember the chick I told you about? Um, I decided I would go for Roxana, or perhaps Roxy for short, Linus. And, um, and the main villain's name would be Sion... Phoenix. Now you people must be wondering, like, where did I get the names like Sonny Leto and and Reuben Cubbings? Cubbings, I know it doesn't sound so much like a really awesome name, but I try my best. Besides, I wanted to make references of that one of R W B Y or as pronounced Ruby. So I took the name Ruby and turned it into Reuben. Then I took the team name of Juniper. And I also took the name of Sunny. Kind of clever, don't you think? It all came from that one series that is produced by the one man who has created the most of it. And his name was Monty. But sadly, he died of a horrible allergy reaction. 
You know something? Like, I never heard of anyone dying from an allergy reaction. That's the first person I've ever heard. But I'm like, can you really die from that? But then I read it, and it, and then I read some of it, and I'm so shocked to discover it. And I go, oh my god, I never knew it could be that bad. Wow, that's that's actually really crazy. I never knew it could be really deadly. Whatever that stuff. I can't believe it actually killed him. Damn. <sighs> maybe I don't know the whole story. Maybe I'm just... Maybe I could be right. Or I could be wrong. But whatever. And you're probably wondering where did I get the last name of Leto and Cubbings. Well, my friends, where did I get it? Okay. You know Jared Leto, the actor and also the lead singer for 30 Seconds to Mars? My mom didn't even know that he was the lead singer to 30 Seconds to Mars. She only knew him for his acting, too. Like, just his acting. And you can't deny, like, Jared is actually a pretty good actor. He really is. Really awesome. Um. Okay. And also, yeah. So, like... Jared Leto has, like, um, alias names. Like, one is actually, it sounds like something of a Russian or Czech or perhaps whatever Romanian-sounding name. And that's, like, Anja Rack Rock something. Oh, my God. I'm, like... Where the heck did he even come up with this kind of name? <laughs> Crazy. And then he's got another one, and it's Bartholomew Cubbings. And, like, he uses two alias names. And it turns out he used the name Bartholomew Cubbings as one of his favorite um, Dr. Seuss stories. Like... That one was one of his favorites, and I kind of like that he uses aliases names. I'm like, that's pretty cool. That's really amazing. Um, <laughs> so I took Cubbings, and I put it with Reuben, and also for, um, hang on one second, sorry. Um, and I took the name Darwin for Juniper's last name, because there's a character of the name of King Darwin, or Derwin, in the story of Bartholomew Cubbins and the 500 Pats. So, um, yeah. Took that, managed to make it work, and then I got the name Leto for Sonny's um, last name from the lead singer Jared Leto because I don't know if it's me you guys but I feel like one of 30 seconds to Mars's songs up in the air kind of sounds a little bit like um, like Sabretooth almost the part um, I'll wrap my hands around your neck so tight with love is where um it's, it kind of makes me think of how Rogue actually was trying to protect Frosh, like, or Frosh. And he's like, I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Like, you're not going to get obliterated, like, what happened to Lecter. But Lecter was alive. But anyway. And the whole, um, I've been up in the air, out of my head, kind of shows how... Um, a bit evil that Sabretooth were. They weren't, like, necessarily bad, but they were just, like, wow. They were, like, jerk asses and arrogant and 
Ugh. And the part, take no more, is kind of like um, how Sting, like, witness um, Lecter's so-called death, but he was actually alive, but he didn't know that until later. Um, the part, take no more, kind of is like how Sting witnesses Lecter's supposed death, and then he um, seemingly kills... Um, his guild master and then Sabretooth went on a rebellion and all. So, yeah. So, I kind of. <laughs> yeah. Mixture of Rooster Teeth and 30 Seconds to Mars and Sabretooth and then the whole process. Yeah, I know. I'm crazy, you guys. Okay, I think that's it for now. But maybe I can continue more later on. So, thank you so much for listening and watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'm Catherine Donovan.